Hey guys, got a really cool challenge lock here for you today, if I can get it picked that is. It's a Bazzy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pin I want to say. Let's take a closer look there. 1, it's hard to tell. 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe a 6 pin. We will see. So there's the lock working. Like I said, hopefully if we get it picked, I just tried it a couple minutes ago and, you know, got kind of far, but kind of stalled out. So I'm going to try to pick a different direction here, see if that helps. Okay, we got a pin right off the bat there. I believe it's one of the low cuts in the middle. like a little counter from one there. I don't know if I got it. Okay. I'll check it again. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. Feels like something else pretty low here. Trying to make sure I get some good counter before I commit to a pin. Feels like it's still coming off a one. We got one set again. But we lost a couple more pins in the process. Did we get it set? Now we have it set. Now we have it set again. Okay, good false set. Nothing on one. Maybe that's two here. like pin one again almost all right I have to commit to this one now it's going it's got to be pin two it does feel pretty low drop something again that was definitely pin one though that dropped Two is being a troublemaker. Trying to see if I can just wiggle it into place, but maybe we gotta set it higher. Hmm. I'll check in the back here. 
think I've been kind of avoiding the back too much. Not feeling anything really. here but hmm. okay we got that false setback again maybe it's a really low cut here kind of dancing with it here hoping I can get it set but come on baby give me something Back at one again. Drop something. Stop my counter rotation. Okay. Kind of had to hold the tension down there quite a bit. Keep it from dropping anything else. Okay. Good false seg. All right, we got her. All right, that was quite a battle. Whew. Felt good getting that one. Starting to get a little tense there. Yes, we are kind of off screen there, but no biggie. I don't know how to edit videos anyway, so. Okay, trying to get all my pinning trays filled up again today so I can get these challenge locks out here to other people. And, okay, got the key. So I am going to lock it back up. See if we can push it off here the cheap way. There we go. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to shim this and do a good job because it's got those uh, crazy little holes to sink everything into. I have messed up a couple of springs before one time. It was actually in a potty lock. I feel pretty bad if I ever do anything like that to anyone's locks, but I'm sure we've all done it. Okay. Stay in there. Okay, shim is all the way in. Let's give it a little turn. All right. I should go off without a hitch. Beautiful. And it's only a five pin. I expected it to be six. It looks like we got undercuts in one, four, and threads in two and three. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in just a touch here. Yeah, not good enough, sorry about that. All right, pin one, we've got a serrated. Pin two, we've got a standard. Pin three, we've got a standard. Pin four, we've got a standard. And pin five, we've got a standard. I must have all the magic upstairs here. 
Okay, let's take a look. Whoa, that's a beautiful spool. Nice long copper spring. We got another really nice spool there. Looks homemade as well. Copper spring in there. And we've got another spool, different style on three with another copper spring. I think all the springs are the same so far. Ooh, a wedding cake pin, beautiful. That was pin five. Pin four, different type of spool. All right, so I'll give you a quick look at all the pins and then we'll look at them. Oops. One on one here, as you can see, a lot of fun in there. Okay, yeah, we got all standards on the bottom except for this baby, really fine serrations on pin one. Yeah, everything else is standard, so I'll show you guys all the pins on the top here. We've got a beautiful spool with a little kind of little mound in the center. I don't know what to call it, but that's a really nice pin. You'll definitely feel that in there. Really nice spool here. Not super deep, but the edges are pretty sharp. Deeper than a commercial spool, for sure. Pin three, you've got a beautiful kind of uh, spool there with a couple serrations on top. Almost hourglass spool is what I would call that. And this almost looks different than the spool in pin two, but not quite as deep. And then, pin five, let me get that out of here, is a beautiful step-down wedding cake T-pin, pretty much. So, I'm glad to have gotten that picked. Give you one more quick look at the pins here. I gotta remember to do this at the end so you can kinda see how the lock worked. But yeah, there we go. That was our attempt with this potty lock this time and it actually worked so awesome and I forget who sent this one to me but if I remember I will put it on the video but thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time bye